Hello Crypto Novus and welcome back. My name is Chris Brown. I'm the host of the channel. It's been a little bit of a while since I've done a rant or a rave. And so it's Saturday morning. It's a beautiful morning. You can hear the birds behind me. I'm in my backyard. And so I thought I'd put together some thoughts that I've had as I've watched the crypto market over the past week. Bitcoin's actually had a pretty interesting week. Uh, it started the week off at around 55, 56,000. I think it wicked down about 55. And it's wicked all the way up to about 61,000. So it's seen a very interesting spread there, about six, seven thousand dollars, and uh, it it's about about a ten percent growth, um, and it's still having a hard time getting past the the sixty two, sixty one thousand dollar range. And uh, on core, some people have asked reasons why, and obviously the the obvious reason is that the the bears are keeping the price down, and the bulls are trying to push through, and right now the bears are winning. Um, but there's probably some more things attached to that that I'm going to talk about. Uh, but the key thing is this is April. And, you know, traditionally Bitcoin has seen a lot of good growth in the month of April. So I'm still pretty optimistic as to what's going to happen in the next week. But along those lines, what's interesting is Fidelity this past week made a comment that they really anticipate shortly for a lot of institutional money to come. In, their quote was pouring into Bitcoin. So if that's in fact the case, we're going to probably see some strong rises correspond to what bid rises in price, which correspond to the activity that normally has happened in the month of April. And that's really a, a, a positive thing for Bitcoin. During this past week, uh, with the rise of Bitcoin and the rise of Ethereum, you know, Bitcoin actually exceeded the $2 trillion mark and Bitcoin was hovering at $1.1 trillion which is really, it's doubled its, its value since the beginning of the year. And that's really what's got people excited and anticipating what's gonna happen for the rest of the, the, the entire year. There's been a lot more Bitcoin adoption and there's been a lot more conversation about Bitcoin in comparison to gold as a hedge, as, as a hedge against inflation. And that came out this week in, in an article from Bloomberg and it was a really good piece that really did, did a comparison of what gold has done in the past as a hedge against inflation. And in fact, they called it an anti-fiat asset, which it is. And Bitcoin's performing the same way. And so that comparison of Bitcoin and gold, I think is a valid comparison. I'm not saying they're exactly the same because they're not. And as assets, they behave differently and you have to be aware of that as an investor. Um, but the interesting thing that came out of that article that I was Aware, made aware of is that there has been a correlation to Bitcoin's activity relative to bond yields. As bonds have gone up, as yield has gone up, Bitcoin's gone up. As the bonds have gone down, Bitcoin's gone down. I wasn't aware of that reality. What's happened in February is Bitcoin rose, but so did bond yields. Now, and for the past month and a half, uh, the bond yields have kind of gone sideways. Well, it's interesting. Bitcoin's gone sideways as well. So I think this is something to take a look at and to get a, I'm going to take a look at it and get a better understanding as to how these, this correlation is happening within these two different markets. Uh, the, the last thing I want to mention is, you know, Bitcoin adoption is getting stronger. Uh, Rick Caruso, who is a real estate developer and investor here in uh, California, he, his investment company is working now with Gemini and with uh, Tyler Win Winklevoss. And they are now beginning to accept payment for rent from both their residential uh, renters as well as their commercial renters in the form of Bitcoin. And so that's just another example of, of adoption. It's another example of large corporate adoption. And it's just you know showing again the advancements that Bitcoin is making in terms of its use case. Uh, again, I don't think it's going to be a major, a major uh, form of trading value uh, at at a retail level, I think it's going to stay much higher at a government and large institutional level. But it, what's interesting to me is, you know, with companies like Tesla and then the sports teams that I've mentioned earlier in the week, you know, people are really taking a strong look at cryptocurrencies and a strong look at that market and how it's going to become a part of our everyday life. So I just kind of wanted to share those thoughts with you a little bit to help you as young investors. You know, if you didn't know about these things, now you're a little bit more aware of them. You can kind of take a deeper dive yourself and do some own research. Um, 
and get you just better educated and figure out again more what your strategy needs to be as an investor in uh, Bitcoin or any other the other alt altcoins. So I'm look I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next week. You know, it's going to be the second full week of April. Um, the 18th is coming up, um, which is you know a, a date that I was looking forward to seeing Bitcoin hit a particular number, which was a hundred thousand according to some some. Uh, studies that I've done. So we'll see if it, in fact it does reach that. The, the conversation right now really is that if Bitcoin can get past its, its, uh, its, its hard line of resistance right now at the 61,000 level um, and get up to 62 and 3, that it could spike up to the mid 70s and as high as 83,000. And so we'll look forward to seeing what's going to happen with that during this month of April. Um, again, I'll just simply repeat that between April and June, it's always been a growth month, uh, a growth season, if you will, for Bitcoin in a bull run time. So I look forward to seeing what's happened. So as you can see, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Saturday out here in nature. I'll probably go for a hike. You guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.